Yeah, well, the police tape behind me actually just coming down moments ago as uh, Seattle police have wrapped up their investigation into this targeted shooting here in West Seattle in the Delridge neighborhood. We know that one woman was shot, taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And like I said, police do believe that this was a targeted shooting. One neighbor we just spoke with moments ago didn't want to be on camera but said he heard what he thought were at least 20 shots fired. The lieutenant here that I spoke with on scene says that they believe at least four to five dozen shots were fired. Uh, detectives have now left the scene. Police have left as well as uh, they have wrapped up their on-scene investigation. And as they were leaving, they were leaving with bagfuls of shell casings that they had collected from that courtyard in between those two buildings. Uh, again, the the shooting is targeted and it appears that it was uh, targeted towards one specific unit of this building. Uh, police not giving us very much information in regards to what may have led up to it or, or what transpired uh, when that shooter arrived here. Uh, but we do know one woman was shot, taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, and that shooter is on the loose this morning. We're uh, not g been given any description uh, possibly of who they're looking for or any description of a car that may have left the scene as well. Uh, so they are continuing to investigate, of course, uh, to look into who this shooter possibly is or how the shooter can be found. Uh, but as far as the scene here, it is cleared and their investigation here has wrapped up. But as, of course, as we get more information from police throughout the day, we'll keep you updated on that uh, right here on air and online. Reporting live in Seattle, Jade Elliott, Fox 13 News.